Creating an interactive prototype mockup doesn't have to be a time-consuming activity. With these tips, you can use PowerPoint to get the job done. What do I mean when I'm talking about an interactive PowerPoint? I'm talking about one where when you're in the slideshow mode, you can actually click around and sort of work through an application, not like a slideshow, but like an interactive application. So let's say we're working with one called Jitter. You can see we're clicking around uh, as if we were on an iPhone and going back and forth between some screens. Maybe we can add a post and get some feedback. Uh, we can simulate these prototypical actions in PowerPoint uh, without spending much time doing it. You can even get mouse over events like this and have pop-ups. So what is it? what are some of the tips for uh, improving productivity in PowerPoint when you do this? Well the first and the most important tip is to use a palette presentation and have that running in the background. So have all your shapes, your styles, your UI elements, your uh, containers, things like that available to you in a presentation that you can just control tab to and immediately get going uh, with your work. The second big tip is to start with a master slide. So create all, get all the elements that are going to be common to each of your slides put together first and then duplicate that with the control D shortcut to move forward. It's sort of there's a, a weird balance in, when mocking up in PowerPoint between adding too much to a screen and having to remove stuff after you duplicate it and figuring out what the right um, base set of elements you're working with is. Another huge uh, productivity gain is with being able to copy and paste style. So I'm going to take these boxes, these palette boxes, and actually use Control Shift C and V to copy and paste uh, styles from one shape to another. And this allows you to really easily keep a consistent theme and look throughout your mockups without having to dive through each the menus or m manually change the formats by hand. Hyperlinks are what it, are able to give us the interactivity that you saw in that little demo. So you use hyperlinks with the control K and I'm going to go find a button and, and drag it in onto the screen or copy it into the screen and hyperlinks allow you to jump between slides in the application it's kind of like go to in old programming so by hitting control K you get the hyperlink window which you just saw and we can link directly to another slide in the presentation finally if we want to do mouse in, mouse out, uh, hover events. It's kind of hacky in PowerPoint, but I've got a little uh, template in my palette PowerPoint, which you can download, that makes it pretty straightforward to do. So the way it works is you have to put uh, one element over the top of the uh, element you want to be able to hover on, which moves the presentation to the next slide and then a border around which moves it to the previous slide. So here you can see the uh, PowerPoint we've just mocked up. I've got this button that takes us back to the previous slide and we've got the mouse in mouse out effect that I just that we just mocked up. So that's real straightforward. Okay, let's just quickly recap the five tips. One, use a palette presentation that you've got running in your background that's going to have all of your icons, shapes, styles, pictures, glyphs, things that you're going to need throughout your mock-up in one place that you can quickly control tab back and forth to without having to traverse menus and insert new shapes, things like that. Two, create your master slides first that have all the common elements you need and then duplicate your master slide using control D. Three, to maintain consistent styling throughout your application, copy and paste your styles using control shift C and V. This makes things so much faster than having to go through and format every shape individually uh, through the menus. Four, you can simulate interaction and interactivity with hyperlinks and you can hyperlink within your power presentation to any slides you need. Four, you, if you need to simulate mouse over events, you can do so. It's a little bit hacky, but you can feign it with the action template that's in the PowerPoint file on the site or by simply adding actions on two slides, one for mouse in and one for mouse out. Uh, using specific shapes. Alright, well that's all I've got for you. 
I'm going to let this video roll out with the uh, recording of making the Jitter application. Hope you guys enjoyed.